I've been shambles. It's 6 a.m. Just a wreck. I need to put myself out there because I mixed up some drugs. As you can tell, I've been planning some rotations. Um, went to bed at 10. Now it's 7 a.m. Getting ready to go to class because everything today is like orientation day and it starts at 8. Can't believe that by this time that I will be in the hospital functioning on Wednesday. Crazy. Yes, I am home. So there's only there was only an eight to nine a.m. Um, lecture that I had to go to. That was just like orientation, like literally orientation. Here, are all your exams, all the things you need to do. I'm still very confused because there's a lot more quizzes than I thought. We have three or two or three different types of quizzes for different things, and each one requires different modules, different learning, pre-learning. And I'm also very confused because I thought there would just be like one weekly quiz, one one didactics, but no. There's also modules that we need to do, and also like textbook reading. Um, and also we have to do like another application we do 20 cases patient cases I don't know um, the next 12 weeks I'm very confused and so that's what I'm going to, to figure out today I came home because I had a three-hour break um, my next session isn't until one they didn't tell us in advance um, otherwise I would have taken the morning session on zoom but I, I guess that it's good practice to wake up early, you know? We are supposed to take this time and do some pre-learning. I just finished a module on tubes and lines, so like chest tubes, NG tubes. Um, don't know what any of these things are, just learn about them for the very first time. And later in the afternoon, I have my suturing workshop and also an airway workshop. Because that's from 1 to 5 today, and so technically my date doesn't end until 5. But then we also have pre-work due for tomorrow and also anesthesia didactic stuff that I need to do. Um, but apparently those are all like asynchronous videos that you have to watch by a certain day. I think mine is on Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday. And then you have to take a quiz based on the material that you read about. Just so many logistical things. So I'm like, where am I reporting to? Where do I get scrubs? Do I have to be there 30 minutes before the time they started? Or is the time they started 30 minutes before the time supposed to be there? It's slightly overwhelming, but I know that everyone else or most other people are overwhelmed the same way. Uh, if you're feeling lost at this time, then your classmates are also lost, to be honest. It's just like next level type water. Hello, hello, it is post dinner. And so after the suturing workshop, um, it, it was like a lot of different stuff like laparoscopy I think it was called I'm not really sure um, suturing um, not tying and also did some basic like first aid like um, intubation um, masking like oxygen like like um, AS, like first aid kind of things um, just like resuscitation kind of skills Tomorrow morning we have boot camp for anatomy boot camp right early at 7.45 a.m. That'll be fun. And I'm gonna do my pre-learning for that. But I just finished um, Girl More Girls, A Day in the Life, like the second, like the four extra episodes. And I have so many mixed emotions about it. I'm feeling everything. One, that it's sad, it's like dumb dumb. But two, like the ending really got to me. I just need like another season, except I know it's never gonna happen. Hopefully I can head to bed like an hour and a half. We'll see. So each, some of our events have like, you know, pre-tests and like things to do before class, after class. Just finished my morning anatomy session. I'm um, staying on campus because I am not driving through a hurricane. Hopefully gonna go and get some work done though. Just got done with my last session. So to recap in the morning, we had anatomy and it was like anatomy boot camp. So a lot of information, a lot of information overload. Hopefully, hopefully I pick up I picked up some stuff. We looked at everything, mostly a lot of GI stuff, some endocrine, breast, um, like colorectal, upper GI. Um, I think I already said cardiac, but cardiac. So it was a lot of organ systems, and that was from 8 a.m. till 12, and took the entire time. Very useful though. I can't believe that people know so much about anatomy because like how our school works is we have no I had no formal anatomy so I this is my first time seeing most of these things and then I had an ultrasound session that 
was just us looking at us practicing the fast exam which is just different ways to look at certain stuff in the body um to look at like i think it's like five or six certain organs like the spleen um the spleen the heart bladder something else um in trauma situations and so we learned about that and also figured out my schedule for trauma as well so it turns out that i will be by myself for most of my rotations until the last four weeks just gonna be me myself and i figuring it out a little bit stressed because i start the va tomorrow but i haven't heard anything about scrub access don't know if i need surgical scrubs for anesthesia but i assume they do because i'll be in the or i have no idea email someone they they uh, informed me someone else who never responded i don't know um, I emailed someone else and she says it's not responsible for it and so I'm just going to show up and really hope for the best. I'm just not good at handling new situations. I get very anxious and so I'm in shambles but hopefully everything will be more at peace. I'll be more at peace and everything will be more peaceful by tomorrow afternoon. This is exactly what it looks like and I am obviously not in the hospital and so supposedly the hurricane was supposed to have worse effects on Miami than anticipated and so last night at 8 p.m. Um, basically we were relieving clinical duties or students were it's crazy to think that as an attending I will have to go in in the event of like a natural disaster or a hurricane stuff like that like that's crazy to me um, but also really cool just to know that I will have such an important role to play, but it's still kind of terrifying because, I don't know, hurricanes? I don't know, that's, that scares me. Um, but it's not really raining today, so I guess the hurricane really did miss Miami. And so, today was not my first official day in rotation, so it'll be tomorrow. I still woke up at 8am just, you know, to get my sleep schedule on track and stuff. And I woke up and did research I've been putting out for a week. I'm supposed to be submitting to a conference in two weeks, but I don't know if I'll have the material ready to be very honest, so it's kind of stressful. Now I show you what I've been studying, and so these are the notes I've taken on the lectures that were pre recorded, and then they also uploaded some PowerPoints. I'm just been reviewing these, and then I've also been doing my Anki today for the first time in a very long time. am just arrived at my parking garage for campus and taking a breather taking a moment before I head out it's one and here I am back in the car ready to head home like this feels really wrong like it's only one I guess I've been here since like six but still it still feels very early but my attending said I could go home she said, grab lunch, go home, go home, grab lunch. She's like, I don't care, you can get out of here. And then my resident was like, it's normal for people to leave after the sec the beginning of the second case. So here I am, beginning of the second case, going home. Um, I just feel like, yeah, it's really early. <laughs> so let's recap what happened today all i did was stand there and shadow essentially um i understand it was my first day i also worked with the resident where it was his like second day so like he was very new he was a first year resident but like technically second year because first year you're called intern and i don't know basically he was very new to anesthesia this was like his second day in the va he only did he's only done like anesthesia stuff since like two months ago so like you know brand new I was also brand new and so I said attending was more focused on teaching him which is completely understandable he was super nice super chill um super friendly and personable um I really enjoyed working with him and attending was also really nice like I didn't expect the attending to be so nice but she was and then she was like if someone tells you to go home go home 
like don't don't stay here and i still would go home technically i didn't do anything for till like eight because rounds from seven to eight and the grand rounds for anesthesia at least it was just like a lecture um someone presenting their research on some new innovation thing i didn't really understand it um but i really thought rounds was com something completely different but that's what their grand rounds were i don't know if that's same across all fields you know i want to force myself to put myself out there because no one likes a person who's a wallflower i'm a wallflower i'm not gonna learn anything so i need to put myself out there it's just really hard for me to learn and to know when to interject and be like okay can i do this because obviously i'm scared of messing up but like while i have this time and energy because i'm not so focused on the shelves and studying and whatever because i haven't really gotten a group of that yet i want to learn these skills because i feel like there's a lot of skills in an institute that i should learn for example intubation um, i'm gonna learn some phlebotomy catheters stuff like that and so i'm realizing that no one's gonna hold my hand and i will have to just ask around and put myself out there everyone's been in my shoes they know exactly what it is i was on pimp today which is lovely <laughs> Day two, a little later, it's 6.20, um, Beyond came this around 6.40 because he's stroke around 7 and I'm just that person, so it was better to be early than late in these situations just to get yourself situated and you never know what may happen. Hey guys, um... I'm so tired, like I'm moving and I can't really think kind of tired even though I got 8 hours of sleep. I went to bed around 9, I got ready for bed at 9, probably fell asleep around 9.30 to 10. And then my alarm was for 5.30, so I think that's 8 hours of sleep. Yeah, I've been trying to do some research, some literature review for research and I just can't. I want to do something social, but at the same time, like, I don't want to be perceived today. Like, I just want to be in bed. I did intubating today, except it wasn't, it ended up being a good patient for me to try. Um, we tried with the video laryngoscope, um, except there was too much aspiration, so we weren't able to see anything. So, obviously, I didn't do it. The attending finished it for me. So, you know, I tried bag masking them, or I think that's what it's called. I mixed up some drugs, um, used some syringes, but like not on the patient, learned which which monitor lines hooked up to the patient, where it hooked up to. At first I was like, anesthesia is really boring, but now I'm like, I can, I can kind of see myself doing this. school was nice enough to give us UWorld for step two um, just to everyone for free as part of our tuition for free we're paying tuition and our tuition increase so I guess this is where or what um, but they just gave us the access code today so I'm gonna go look to see what the questions are like for UWorld I want to finish my, I was really good about my Anki yesterday so I want to do more of my Anki and keep up with it today just so I start learning things because I am getting a little stressed with ER coming up in a week, a little bit over a week, just because I'm gonna need to know a lot more information. And so I think OME and consistently doing my Anki for the next week will really help me prepare for that. So that's the goal for today. So I just wanted to show you what OME looked like. And so it's free for students. I'm not sure if it's, I thought I had a free plan. I don't know if it's only for students or not, um, but you go to topics and they have a bunch of different topics. And then so I've just been looking at the surgery ones because that's what I'm on and so they have a bunch of different like topics and stuff that are really relevant to what you'll see in the hospital. And I heard it's not super detailed but it's a really good overview and a good way of like thinking of stuff like when you see stuff in like surgery to ER, OR, stuff like that is a really like how he lays it out is like a really good way for you to think through it when you actually see it. Um, haven't experienced it yet but that's just what I've heard and Yep, yeah, I think I'm gonna go focus on, let's see, people coming in with chest pain, what should I have, stuff like that, or 
I don't know. I think I'm just gonna just randomly choose one to be honest because I'm not sure which one is the most useful for me and I think all of them will be useful eventually. So I'm just gonna <laughs> choose a random topic that I feel like learning today because it's ultimately I hate learning stuff that I'm not interested in that day because I feel like I learned less about it and I'd rather just learn something that I'm more interested in like right now. So that's my rationale and how I think I'm gonna do it. But um, we'll see as time goes on. Like. As I tailor what works for me studying for this part of my life, we'll see what happens. Just finished for the day. It's like 12:40. I just helped them with prep. I learned. The, I helped with excavation, which is a new one. People always say to find downtime to go study, do you world, do questions. But like, I don't know how you can get into zone like on a just like on a fly, just like immediately, and then like be ready to not study. I don't know. I just it's hard for me to switch between brains. So like, I don't know how I want to do you world while in rotations. Maybe I'll figure that out in a couple weeks. We'll see. currently in the classroom it's been a while since i've been here um but today i went in and i put in my first or with help i attempted my first peripheral iv which is really cool it was a lot less scared than i thought it would be because i'm scared of needles so i was actually thought i'd be really scared about like poking someone but i gave someone in, like a muscle injection and also help putting in a peripheral iv and that yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Obviously, it's because like the resident was there to like take over when blood started spewing everywhere. Um, but with his help, it was like, yeah, I'm glad that like I'm getting to know people and then they're starting to trust me with more and more tasks. Um, like just like like small stuff too, just you know filling up all the syringes and getting all the medications, all the drugs ready. And then also setting up like a fluid bag, um, saline bag, don't really know what people mess and call it yet um but that's what i call it in my head and so it's really cool i left early today because i have a class at noon it's a simulation training don't really know what a simulation's on because they didn't give any details um but i have class later so left a little early So I just finished the research meeting because like, I don't know if I mentioned, but I want to submit an abstract by next Tuesday, which is exactly seven days from now. Yeah, it's just like, it's, a, it's up in the air because we don't know if we have the end to do the question that I want to pursue. Um, and I just went down such a rabbit hole that I'm actually very interested in this question now, which kind of, it started as a random question, just like me trying to pull stuff out of my brain but now i'm actually really interested because i've done so much research on it and like have like background information on it now 
um and so we're just trying to see if that's feasible and everything's like you know what we got a day-by-day -day plan because it needs to be written up and submitted by next tuesday i'm just kind of nerve-wracking but i'm starving it's like six now i'm gonna go make myself some dinner i'm purposing the failed stir fry that became soup into actual soup today <laughs> Try some osmanthus sauce boba. We'll see. Ooh. Taste test. Um, highly do recommend um, the brown sugar boba. It's so easy to make at home, even though it's not like you know, like oh my god, it's the best boba I've had. But it's like thirty seconds. Like you can't, you can't go wrong with it. Hello, it's Thursday. I'm dressed up for once because I have dinner plans. Yes, yes, you can still have dinner plans and rotations um, depending on what rotation you're in. And I've been home just studying for the majority of the day. I ran through like 200 Anki cards. A lot of it was new, so it doesn't sound like a big number, but when it's new Anki cards, like running through 200 takes a lot of time because you're learning. And also we've been like i've been told by upperclassmen that we should that advice is to learn through the anki cards um versus like learning something from something and then in the anki cards because like you don't have as much time to study obviously during rotation so i'm doing like a mix of both by not learning learning every topic but having a brief overview of every topic from online method um because I know Boards and Beyond also has videos, but those have been- I watched one and that's more in-depth and I realized I don't have the time for all of the topics. And also because I'm really stressed about UWorld and I want to start doing UWorld. Um, and so, I- people- UWorld is like the gold standard, so that's why I'm focusing on it. Anyway, so I did that. I've done five UWorld questions. I'm going to do five more before I head out to dinner. I um, just want to take a quick break and get ready just because I want to step away from the screen for a second. And I did pre- so we have our didactics tomorrow, and so for that I just watched, um, I just went over my notes I took from a pre-recorded lecture. So we're actually given two hours, I think one or two hours tomorrow afternoon um, to watch a lecture, but I just want to do things in advance so I can use bar to review it because I don't know how intensive the quiz is going to be. So, and so we have a problem-based problem learning, which is like UMCLs from um, preclinicals, I assume. And then so we run through some cases and scenarios and then we have a quiz open at five and then we have until tomorrow midnight to take it. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to doing some Anki and UWorld before I head out. Mm -hmm. 